My great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to everyone. This is the fourth, already the fourth Southern California Microbiome Symposium. Uh, the symposium is co-sponsored and co-organized by uh, a number of, of groups, the Institute for Genomics and Bioinformatics, uh, CalIT2, both the UCSD branch and the UCI branch, the UCI Data Science in Initiative, and then also now we have a, a microbiome initiative on, on campus. Um, as you probably have seen, the program is on the screen. We have an excellent uh, roster of speakers. We'll have a lunch break at 12 with uh, pizza served in the uh, Calaiti 2 atrium. And then in the afternoon, uh, we'll end up with a wine and cheese reception at 4.45 with some music. Um, Larry Smart, the director of Calaiti 2, has been instrumental in starting this uh, symposium four years ago and has worked with us all along to, to keep the tradition. But this year, I have to say that uh, two faculty members here at UCI, Jennifer Martini and Catherine Whiteson, have uh, uh, taken all the heavy lifting and invited all the speakers, and, and really, uh, they have taken care of the organization in a, in a wonderful way. So it's my pleasure to welcome, I think Jennifer will come to the podium and say a few words. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming. It's really um, great, uh, and I really want to thank Pierre and Larry and GP um, for starting this symposium a few, uh, four years ago now, so we're on our fifth uh, annual symposium. And, you know, they really, um, I think already we're promoting a vision that now the UCI Microbiome Initiative is, is hoping to capitalize on, and that is that um, we have a lot of uh, great research going on in the field, in the environment, as well as in human microbiomes and animal-associated microbiomes, food microbiology. And, uh, you know, the whole field, the, these fields are starting to come together in really interesting uh, ways where we're realizing how much uh, our science um, as, and the biology, the evolution, um, the chemistry, all of this overlaps across these systems. And so... Katrina and I, when uh, we uh, decided to take on proposing an initiative like this, our hope was that we could bring together those folks here on campus and also off campus. Many of you are from off campus today. Thank you very much. And our goal is, you know, primarily to promote that research going on uh, on campus in many different ways. And so I just wanted to introduce our, um, our one of our first uh, um, Things that we've done is, is we have a new website here, and um, that website, uh, if you, a couple of points I want to make about, make about it. Um, first is that we talk a lot about the resources that whoops, we are trying um, to promote on campus through this initiative. And uh, they're listed here, some of the ones coming up. So first of all, we'd like to offer um, consulting services to th those labs on campus, your students and staff. Uh, postdocs that are trying to get into the field more and, and do new things in microbiome research. So we already have a consulting hour up and going on Thursdays, so you can look here, look here for updates in case uh, I can't go on one week. Or if you can't make that, just write to our email address and we'll set up a time um, to meet. And already we have several labs using this, so it's, it's pretty um, fun that we're, um, we're helping to spur this research here. Um, we're also uh, starting a monthly meeting uh, group also on Thursdays at three o'clock, and um, this is building off of a group, a microbial group that we've had here on campus for probably a decade now. Um, but we want to open that up once a month, and and um, you know we're inviting different labs to come and present what their ideas of what they want to do. So it's not just for people that are already working in this field, but ones that want to get involved. And so we have those scheduled for the fall. So please um, think about coming to those. Uh, we are, uh, next week we'll be announcing um, different um, types of, of research fellowships. So the first thing we'd like to do is, is offer uh, our services in helping you analyze uh, samples. So we'll have a call if you, if you are about to collect samples or you have samples and you'd like to, to analyze those, um, this call will be for, for that sort of consulting as well as lab help, technical help um, to do that. So that's coming up uh, next week. 
And um, workshops, we just had our first workshop yesterday um, that I think was a success. Um, it was just an introduction to this type of work for people new and we were over capacity on that, over 50 people showed up, so that was really fun. And so we'd really like to hear from you what kinds of workshops you would like to see, what kinds of um, things uh, would help you out. Um, as we go along, we'd like to offer more uh, sort of resources as, you know, our hope is that people will use these services to collect preliminary data, put them into a grant and so forth, and, and we'd like to be able to help out how, you know, how, um, with maybe some text or how you can budget that type of work uh, into your grant, so see us about that. So if you'd like to hear more about these things and, and the fellowships, go to the, uh, you know, our website. You can join our uh, mailing list on the bottom of of this page here. Um, I, we promise to be uh, very prudent in using this mail, mailing list, but you'll be the first then to hear about these things um, before we broadcast it to, to the rest of the university. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, for today uh, Zymo Research, who are here out in the atrium, and they're sponsoring our reception tonight. And uh, so please uh, feel free to talk to their, their people. They're a local company in Irvine, and I know my lab's used a lot of their products uh, for many years, so, um, so it'd be great if you could stop by and talk to them if you think that will be useful for you. So uh, to now, I, uh, without uh, any, uh, anything else, I'd like to uh, talk or introduce Rachel Dutton, who I'm very pleased uh, could join us this year. We've been trying to get her for a couple years now <laughs> to come and talk at this symposium. She's an assistant professor at UCSD, and um, she'll be talking to you today about her work on cheese microbial communities, which I think really, you know, epitomizes this idea of how we can learn across, you know, any system you study. Actually, I, I find it interesting that, you know, I always learn something from hearing uh, Rachel talk and reading her papers. And she really has the most beautiful website with all these beautiful pictures of cheese. You should really uh, visit it. So uh, thank you, Rachel, uh, for joining us. Thank you.